CES is kicking off in style with this insane Mercedes Vision EQXX electric vehicle. A thousand kilometers of range, mushroom leather, you gotta check this thing out. A real quick history before we jump into the details. 18 months ago, Ola Kalanius, which is the head of Mercedes, tasked the company's designers with a huge challenge. Design an EV that could go a thousand kilometers on a single charge without needing a massive battery, carry four passengers like a standard sedan would, and use tech that could feasibly make its way to a mass-produced car. That's a pretty huge ask but the designers at Mercedes were up to the task. They went to the drawing board and spent 18 months coming up with what the company announced today, the Vision EQXX, a not quite concept, not quite series car that the company says can drive a thousand kilometers using a single battery charge. That's about 620 miles for us Imperial system users. That's impressive. As a quick comparison, the recently refreshed Tesla Model S tops out at 375 miles or 600 kilometers of range. So that would be a really big deal in the world of EVs, but credit where credit's due, the Model S is a production car being mass produced as you're watching this video. So like I said, we have to give them points there. If you're dying to know how Mercedes is doing this, be sure to check out the description below for a link to a Roadshow article with lots of details on how Mercedes is making the EQXX happen. It is a great read, I promise. This thing has all the hallmarks of a crazy concept car, except unlike concept cars, it's functional. And Mercedes says it's going to test out a road legal version and prove its 1000 kilometer claim by driving across Europe sometime in the spring. And what a sight it will be for anyone the EQXX passes by. It's got a very aerodynamic design specifically created to help achieve that big range. The tail in particular has a retractable rear diffuser and is narrower than the front of the car by a couple of inches. Mercedes says the drag coefficient on the EQXX is just 0.17, which is pretty impressive if accurate. Another interesting thing that's on the exterior is a small solar cell array, which Mercedes says might buy you another 15 miles of range or so by helping power the ancillary systems in the car. If the striking design wasn't enough for you, the interior of this car has a lot going on. Tons of new interesting features are inside of the EQXX, but let's start with the obvious one, that screen. It's 47 and a half inches long, 8K resolution, and offers real-time 3D navigation tools. Whew, that's pretty. But while I'm always googly-eyed for a gorgeous screen, it's some of the materials created and used inside the EQXX that I'm most excited about. Mercedes leaned in hard to sustainability when figuring out how to finish the interior. The carpets are made of bamboo fiber, while floor and door trim pieces rely on recycled pet bottles. The interior also uses something called UBQ material, which is made from landfill waste. And then there are these really cool leather alternatives. Desert Tex, which is made from cactus fibers, and Milo, which is created from mushrooms. Mycelium fungi seeds. Okay, maybe I'm old, but that just sounds freaking cool. So when can we all buy our very own Vision EQXX for ourselves? Well, that's the bad news. Research cars like this usually have parts that are too expensive to be mass produced or are impossible to meet current safety standards. Sort of like how the Tesla Cybertruck originally didn't have side mirrors and now does. Womp womp. But the EQXX is a kind of roadmap with features and options that you can expect to see in future production models. And that's pretty exciting. Mercedes calls this EV a research car because it's intended to test out technology designed to make its way to the mass market. Kalanius says the battery tech will be used in series cars pretty much one-to-one -one starting in 2024, which isn't all that far away. This research vehicle is just so, so cool. It makes me really excited about the future of EV tech. Now, I'm dying to know what you think of the exterior design of the car. It's been very polarizing in my social feed, so 
Drop your thoughts down in the comments, and we will be bringing you all the best CES 2022 coverage, both on our YouTube channel and on CNET.com. Be sure to subscribe for more great tech videos and check out all of our written and video coverage. Until next time, be good humans.